How are you doing? Looks like the half term is here already for that. And it's also bank holiday for that. We're halfway through in this episode. Uh, because this is episode 5 for that. So, anyways. Uh, I haven't anyone else to say for that. So, it's Friday. It's 6 o'clock. And it's time for my history of Panto years. It's Ben's history of Panto years. Oh, yes, it is. Ah, hello there, everyone. My name is Ben, and welcome once again to my history of Panto years. So, the show where uh, I can show you some uh, the Panto posters some uh, decades ago. So, yeah. Um, so, I wonder what year we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna. I'm not starting, but. Uh, what year are we going to do next? Well, I can tell you, we're going to look at 1996 to 1997. There we are. So, let's see who I find it. Let's see the, the Panto posters are very interesting for that. But, uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's see the first one. Okay, then. Let's see who's first up on the list, then. But uh, I got one here all already. <laughs> so anyways, first up on the list, we have Peter Pan at the Assembly Hall, Tunbridge Wells. So let's see, we got Jet from Gladiators. Well, the original Gladiators as Tiger Lily. And Brian Blessed is back, reprising his uh, role as Captain Hook. Yeah, he looks... Yeah, I think he's... Uh, uh, a different costume for that because the uh, that black and red uh, jackets uh, uh, he's wearing for that. Uh, so yeah. Next up on the list we have uh, Dick Whittington at the Harlequin Theatre in Red Hill, and there's another original Gladiator there, Nightshade. Wow. <laughs> and so and uh, let's see who else is there. John Chalice from Only Fools and Horses as King Rats. And of course that and of course that smart legend Well the TV show's smart for that. <laughs> the it's the late Mark Spate. Moving on now to Goldilocks and the Three Bears at the Hexagon Theatre in Reading. And so we have Peter Piper? That's just like the same as like the uh, the children's nursery rhyme. I don't know. And Rory the Tiger. <laughs> wow. And of course, from from GMTV, it's none other than Mr. Motivator. He's he is the ringmaster for that. But why is he wearing why is he wearing this Mr. Motivator's costume instead of that suit? I don't know. Next up, let's see. It's Dick Whittington at the Theatre Royal Plymouth. So let's see. Leslie Joseph there from Birds of a Feather, the Simmons Brothers. And of course that and of course that just a minute presenter who died this year. It's it's the late Nicholas Parsons. Shame that he passed away this year for that. Oh, we'll all be missed. Moving on now, and it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs at the Clips Pavilion. So, Doobie Duck? I don't know. I don't know Doobie Duck for that. But I know the other guy, Dave Benson Phillips. <laughs> yeah, he's playing the, uh, that jester himself. But I, can't, but I don't know uh, what it's uh, named for that. Next up, we have Cinderella at the Swindon Wyvern Theatre. And it's Bernie Clifton again. He's playing Buttons for that with um, with Oswald the Ostrich for that, well, wherever it was. <laughs> right, next up, let's see who it is. It's Snow White and the Summer Dwarfs at the Harlequin Theatre. Let's see who it is. Naming it is. Wait. Dave? How did you get there? Well, it's supposed to be the, doing any other ones. Which is this one. 
Well, why are you doing this one? I haven't got a clue about this. Like, when you imagine if uh, Dave does the, uh, uh, the panto in the Harlequin Theatre, uh, if he's on the stage, and then if he is uh, late to the uh, another panto, which is another theatre, uh, he will go, Oh no! I forgot about the you know, other theatre! They're doing Snow and the Seven Dwarves! I forgot! I'm on! <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was for this. Right, moving on now. Two Babes in the Woods in the Bet Theatre in Hayes. So let's see who we got. Oh, who remembers Simon Davis from Ticabella? Yeah. So, and he's also uh, in uh, TV's Monster Cafe. So that's, yeah. I don't know that Simon Davis is doing panto for that. I don't know. Right, moving on now. You're going to love this one. It's Cinderella at the Blackpool Grand Theatre. So let's see. We have Jenny Powell from Wheel of Fortune. And look who's on the left. It's none other than that catchphrase himself, Roy Walker. Yes. So he, he's playing Buttons. But uh, here's one thing. Why, why is Buttons' costume in red? They're supposed to be blue, not red. I don't know for that. Do you know that reminds me of the that reminds me of the that costume thingy uh, when uh, like he works in the hotel for that. I think it's uh, like the Grand Budapest Hotel for that. So <laughs> yeah, that's what that he looks like there. Yeah, yeah, original catchphrase legend presenter playing buttons. In Cinderella. Next up, it's Aladdin at the Richmond Theatre. So let's see, we've got Bonnie Lanford as Aladdin. <laughs> Whoa, that lady dressed up as a uh, men's costume for, for, Aladdin, for that, Aladdin for that. And Bernard Cribbins, <laughs> he's playing the dame for that. And, and of course, Chris Jarvis. That looks better for that. Next up, we have Dick Whittington and his amazing cat at the Gateshead Theatre in Stafford. So let's see. It's Big Ends. Yeah, that panto legend. So he's playing Sarah the Cook. <laughs> wow. Good old Sarah the Cook there, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Next up. We have Jack of the Beanstalk at the Dungate Theatre, Northampton. Let's see. Doobie Duck again? Whoa. And his, and his friends there, but I don't know which friends are because I don't know Doobie Duck. But I do, know, I do know another puppet, Otis the Aardvark. Yes. Yes, good old that CBBC puppet legend. Next up, let's see. It's Peter Pan at the Lewis M Theatre. So we have two Blue Peter presenters, Diane Louise Jordan as Wendy, and of course, Peter Duncan as Peter Pan. <laughs> Look, two Peters there, Peter Duncan and Peter Pan. But why is it said Pan there? What is it supposed to be like? What is it supposed to be like? Sauce Pan? I don't know. And it says spectacular flying effects. That's what it just said there. Next up, it's Robin Hood and Babes in the Wood in the Grand Opera House, York. So let's see who it is. I don't know, but... Mr. Jolly? Wow! From Play Days. <laughs> wow. And it's uh, played by Robin Fritz. Wow. <laughs> we, have, we have that... First live action uh, character from Play Days uh, in the panto for that. Moving on now to Peter Pan at the Wolverhampton Grand Theatre. So let's see, we have a late Leslie Grantham there. And, and we've got Michaela Stranken and Joe Pasquale. Wow. So uh, he's not wearing glasses for this, but uh, he's playing Smee. 
for that. And uh, yeah, but Michaela Strachan uh, is playing Pia Pan for that. Another woman dressed up as a man for that. Next up, we have Cinderella at the Theatre Royal Bath. So let's see, with Patsy Palmer and Ross Kinn from Pebble Mill as put buttons. And, and there's Postman Pat in Bath for that. And with his uh, postcard there. Uh, it's just going to be in there. I don't know. Next up, we have Babes in the Woods in New Theatre Hall. So let's see who it is. Oh, it's none other than that than the original Gladiator Baddy. The Wolf. Yes, he's playing the evil sheriff of Nottingham. So yeah, he's the baddie for that. Next up, we have Dick Whittington at the Theatre Royal Lincoln. So let's see. It's Colin Baker again. Yes, he's playing Kin Rats for that. <laughs> And, wait a minute, Rianne did, I don't know how uh, pronounce the first name, Leslie Jones, says Dick Whittington. Another, another uh, woman dressed up as a man. I don't know. Next up, it's Jack of the Beanstalk at the Norwich Theatre. And, don't know, it's royal for that. And, let's see, Mark Curry. Yep. Catchphrase, Blue Peter. Yeah. He is Simple Simon. For that. So, yeah. Next up, it's Cinderella at the North Wales Theatre in La La Duno. Don't know if I was that right. So, let's see. We have Neighbours, Star Kim Valentine, Rod Hill and Emu. Wow, that ventriloquist in there. And he's playing Baron Hard Up. With uh, with his friend Emu, and Stu Francis again from Cracker Jack, he's playing Buttons. So yeah, he's going to a thumbs up for that because he likes to. <laughs> Next up, it's Aladdin at the Central Theatre in Chatham. So we have uh, we have another original Gladiator Trojan, and of course we have we have a character from Power Rangers. And it's the White Ranger. So, yeah. yeah. But uh, here's the thing. I saw that uh, colour there. Gold. <laughs> I think that's just like his change of colour for that person. But he's still the White Ranger. Moving on now to uh, Cinderella at the Grimsby Auditorium Theatre. So, let's see. We have the original Postman Pat, Don Don Cran? I don't know. Yeah, Don Cran. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, the original Postman Pat. That's Baron Hard Up. And we have Richard Cadell from Sooty and Sweet. There's Buttons. And of course, the one and only Mr. Blobby from Noel's House Party. So yeah, he's a special guest uh, in the panto. Right, next up we have um, Jack and the Beanstalk at the Bradford Alhambra. So let's see. We have Frank Bruno. <laughs> wow. He is little Frank. I think that is. Ken Morley. Wow. <laughs> so he's playing the Ken. <laughs> well, yeah. Good on him. Right. Let's quickly do the last one. It's Dick Whittington at the Bristol Hippodrome. So let's see. Oh, wow. It's Jim Davidson and John Virgo from Big Break. Wow. <laughs> So, those two doing pantos, eh? <laughs> Good all those two. Yay. Well, unfortunately, folks, we have run out of time, I'm afraid. So, that's all for the today's episode. But if you want to see more of the uh, interesting post panto posters, it's on the Panto Archive website. So, yeah. So, that's all for the today's episode, and I'll see you next week. Tara.